Amy and Ellis or Tyler? The world may never know. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. But before I say anything about this video, make sure to go subscribe to my Twitch account right now because I'm gonna be streaming a new episode series right there exclusively on Twitch. So you don't wanna miss it. So I'll wait like 10 seconds while you go subscribe. I'll be here. Okay, 10 seconds was a long time, so I'm sure you've done it by now. Okay, back to the video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Just slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. Okay guys, we are back. The moment of truth. Ellis and Amy or Tyler? A lot of you have been tweeting me to stay with Tyler, and I don't know, we might do that. We'll see. Let's start. It's Amy's birthday. To keep the peace with Ellis, I have to dump Tyler. That's not happening. I already said it's not happening. Even though we're pretending to date, this is still a nightmare. And to make matters worse, someone stole my clothes and made me look like a loser. Things are a little crazy right now, huh? Kinda, sorta. Yeah. I'm sorry somebody was such an ass to you. Thanks, Tyler. He's the only person who's nice. To be honest, I don't wanna go to school today. I don't think I could face it. Thanks for taking me to school. And I'm supposed to break up with him? Ugh. Actually, I was thinking of not going today. You wanna skip? Oh, we about to skip together, it's like a date. Don't you? I couldn't take all the attention you're getting. Let's just take a day, go hang out. Just us. Like a date. Are you serious? Totally. Hmm. Okay, we're going on the date. I had to, okay. You're awesome, let's go. Where are we going? I've got an idea. You got a swimsuit? Of course I do. Sure. I ran back inside, narrowly avoiding mom who was on her phone with her loser boyfriend, Jeff. Pretty soon, we were on the way to the beach. I knew it was gonna be the beach. Hurry up, hottie. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm not breaking up with him. Amy and Ellis thought. My bathing suit cute too. I can't believe I'm skipping school for a beach day. Oh my gosh, I'm adorable. Are you coming in? The water's great. No, I'm black. I'm not much of a beach girl with these inches. I love it here. This is where I go when I need to get away. Of course, look at him. Yeah, sorry things are getting so out of control. It's okay. I knew what I was signing up for when we decided to date. Oh, really? You're kind of putting up with a lot for me. It's okay. You're worth it. Ooh, I'm worth it. Baby, I'm worth it. Ooh, and we're kissing. This is real, y'all. Oh, I could get used to this. I keep thinking about Brody taking you home after that party. I should have done that. It's okay, it worked out. No, I should have been the one to bring you back home to make sure you're okay. Tyler, no seriously, I kind of like you, Allie. I knew it, I knew it. Even if I'm a pretend BF, I'm gonna be the best one I can be. Aww. Dude, I hate it when old people get lovey-dovey in public. Who's old? <gasps> My mom and Jeff are at the beach. I'm at the beach, skipping school. I can't be here anymore. We gotta go. Tyler, we gotta go. OMG, it's my mom. We need to leave. Go, 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 go. Well, I guess we're signing in late. I can't believe your mom was making out with that old dude. You're telling me. What was she doing there? I thought she was supposed to be at work or something. Did you have fun though? Of course I did. But my mom is out with Jeff. Look who's here, Brody. The bag lady from yesterday. So clever. I'm just saying, you should pay more attention to your things. You probably got drunk and lost them or something. She is so mad. See, I was gonna break up with Tyler for her. Yeah, right. Classy, Ellis. What? She probably did. <laughs> right, Brody? Right? Actually, I think it was a pretty weak prank. So he didn't do it. But someone took her clothes. It's hilarious. To you. Sure, Elle. Hilarious. Whatever. Ty, you wanna smoke up before class? Sure. <sighs> Bad boys. I see you're still with Tyler. Looks like you're gonna ruin Amy's birthday. Why can't you just break up with Brody for the 12th time? Because I'm not the one being a jerk. Brody and Tyler are hanging out. Why can't you just put your crazy aside for one night and think about Amy? My crazy? I am like two seconds away from freaking out on you. Try it. Try me, girl. We at school. Let's go. Oh, snap. We really about to fight. Stop it. You two are being so selfish. It's my birthday, and I just wanted to be together, and you can't even do that. I can. 
Ellis. She just tried to fight me. Can she really? Stop it. If some stupid boys are gonna tear us apart, why should we even bother being friends? This is stupid. Amy, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to the movie. I'll do that for you. Are you gonna come? Sure, I'll go. I don't care. If Ellis wants to throw down at the birthday party, we can do it there too. Thank you. Let's try to get along. Just don't let her. That's enough. I'll see you after school. Bye. We literally were like, come on, you wanna fight? Let's go. Did you think it was funny when someone took her clothes? See, no one thinks it's funny. Ellis is the one who did it. Clearly, Amy really wanted to see a movie called Prince Alarming. It's some romantic fairy tale thing about a girl who gets cursed and needs a prince. Witch's curse? Obviously this chick hasn't dealt with Brody Kaysen, that's for sure. How are you liking the movie? It's fine. Remember when I bought you the books because I'm such a good friend? She trying me, y'all. Yes. And remember, shh, right, sorry. I just keep remembering how close Amy and I are. You can stop whenever you want, or we can go. I'll stop as soon as you break up with Tyler. Why do you care? You're with Brody. Guys, why do you care? You're with my Tyler. Whoa. What? She can't have both now. That's it. I'm done. You two ruined my birthday. No, Amy, it's be I don't care about Brody or Tyler or whatever. I'm going home. Congrats on being the worst friends ever. <gasps> It's all her fault. Way to go, Allie. It's your fault, you crazy. You say you got two boyfriends. Did she just say my Tyler? Yes, she did. I shouldn't have gone to the movie. Now I don't know if I have any friends other than Tyler, anyway. Look who's home. I can't even deal with him right now. Brody, what's got you so down? Pretty much every relationship in my life is chaos right now, and you keep on doing your good cop, bad cop thing, which has me going crazy. Tyler's not enough for you, huh? What? No, I don't know. Why would you even ask me that? I'm just messing with you. You're always just messing with me. Maybe it's because I like you. Do not. Whatever. Or maybe it's because you mess with me. Don't think I forgot about you having my journal. I didn't forget, I should read it all. To the class. Gotta admit, blackmail hasn't been a top priority lately. I gotta get back on that. Diary. Give it back and maybe Ellis is suddenly back on the market. You're threatening me? That's a pretty dumb move, cause I got your diary. Another dumb move was reminding me that I can dig up something juicy on you and split you and Ellis up all on my own. I don't think it's gonna work like that. Why? You don't? Not if you want people to know that you wet your pants during the sixth grade talent show. How does he know that? It was one time. Um, no I didn't. And even if I did, who cares? It was so long ago. This is high school. People will take anything they can get to knock someone else down. Just like I took your journal. What did he do? What? Yup, rule number one. Don't pass out at a party and have the dude you're blackmailing take you home. Oh, duh. You stole it while I was passed out? Couldn't find mine, figured I'd take yours. Let me know when you wanna make the trade. Dang, he got me, he got me. But you're not gonna tell anyone. About sixth grade? Not unless you force me to. <sighs> I can't believe you would do something like this. And yet, here we are. Have a good night, love cake. Ah! Oh, and Allie, what? It seemed like you always thought that Ellis was prettier than you or better than you. She's not. Hmm. Brody has my journal. This could get very, very bad. End of episode. Oh no, 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 no. We're going back for more. I gotta get my journal back. First, Brody's my knight in shining armor, saving me from the cops at Lola's party. Then I learned he used the whole thing to steal my journal. I was asleep. What a jerk. There's not a ton of stuff in there, but enough that I need to get it back. The smart thing to do would be to make a clean trade. Oh, or I could take a page out of Brody's book and steal my journal back. <sighs> My heart. If Brody's got a special place where he hides things, I bet he wrote about it in Dumbass. So let me read it. Dear Dumbass, the more I sit with it, the more I think about my dad only cares about money. Like, more than he cares about me or mom. That's why he divorced her. Because if things don't line up with his perfect life, he's gotta get rid of them. Wow. I hate it at this place. No matter how big it is or how much money he has, it'll never be a real home. Not to me, anyway. Aww. I don't really feel that bad though, cause he has my journal. It sounds like he likes his mom's place more. So I'll start there. Gotta be tough for him with a dad like that. Maybe that's why he's so tough all the time. Okay, mom left for work and I just saw Brody take off for school. So I think I'm in the clear. Here goes nothing. <sighs> I scoped out the house, trying doors and windows, looking for the perfect place to make my way in. And no, I totally didn't go through the bathroom window and crash on the floor. Oh, I've passed out. 
I totally went through the bathroom window and crashed on the floor. Graceful, Allie. You're a regular cat burglar. Okay, there's a door out there on the right and a door on the left. Which should I take? I'm taking the left because I'm left-handed. Let's go. This is Brody's mom's room. I doubt he'd hide anything in here. What's that? Newspaper clippings. I better get some photos. Yes, Smarty. Brody Kaysen, son of Jake and Marie Kaysen, still remains missing. What? I'm taking pictures of all this. The Kaysons continue to offer a substantial award to anyone with information as to his whereabouts. Holy smokes, Brody went missing? What was this? What happened? I better keep looking, I need to know the tea. <sniffs> Holy smokes, I'm in Brody's room. <sniffs> it smells like Brody. That's kind of weird, huh? I can't believe it. I'm in Brody Kaysen's freaking room. He's got action figures and stuff. Brody's so sexy, but he's like a regular dude. Like, still a kid, I guess. Okay, a kid with some questionable magazines in his drawer. That's a little gross. Empty beer cans, candy bar wrappers, guitar strings. My journal's not here. I don't think it's here. He probably has it on him. Who the hell are you? Don't think I won't call the cops. I know, Officer Mike. Oh my gosh, Miss Kaysen, I'm sorry to scare you, but I'm, wait. You're the indigo girl from next door, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. I, uh, Brody forgot. Let me guess. Brody snuck you in last night and you overslept. Dang, she know how it goes. But no. Oh gosh, no. I would never. My Brody is a busy young man. I swear, Miss Kaysen, we didn't do anything like that. Brody and I are- Think of something. Anything. We're lab partners and he forgot his bio book, so he wanted me to grab it, but I can't find it. And I'm sorry for breaking in. Oh, it's fine, honey. I believe you. You're Charlie's daughter, right? Everybody know. Yes, I always liked Charlie. Never afraid to do what's right, even when it's hard. You look just like him. Thank you. Now, why don't we see if we can find that book and get you to school? She gonna drive me? That was close. Brody's mom and I searched the house top to bottom trying to find his bio book. I can't believe I never saw how nice she is before. If it's not here, it's probably at his father's house. Things have a way of getting lost in such a large place. Mm-hmm, I wouldn't know. No worries. Thank you for helping me look anyway. It's my pleasure, but I have to ask, is there something going on between you and Brody? No. Well, I mean, no, there's not. I've seen that look from a million girls. Brody is my son and I love him, but he's confused. It's complicated. You should give him his space. A little late for that. What do you mean? He's wonderful and caring and compassionate, but only when he wants to be. And it's so rare that he does. Trust me, you'll be a whole lot better if you push him out of your mind and move on to another boy. Oh, thanks for the advice. Do you think that Brody could change? That someone could help him to be those things all of the time? You can't change people, honey. It's a fool's errand. All you can do is let them be themselves and understand that you can't be mad at them for being themselves. Okay. Thanks, Mrs. Kaysen. It's Marie, and you're welcome. I don't know about her. Brody's mom's house was a bust, but I bet he's got my journal at his dad's house. Ugh. Too bad I have no idea where it even is. I'm gonna need help. We should go ask Isaac. Tyler would know, and he's on my side already. True, Isaac might also help me out. Amy's mad at me, so that would be stupid. It's too bad Alice hates my guts. Otherwise, I bet she'd sneak me into Brody's in a heartbeat. I'm gonna go with my first choice and ask Isaac because I feel like Tyler will be like, why do you need to go to Brody's dad's, you know? And he's gonna ask me too many questions. Isaac will be like, here's Brody's dad's house. Okay, have a good day. Cause he doesn't wanna get in the drama. Okay, I just need to hunt down Isaac without being seen. Let's do this. Okay, let's see where he is. We need to talk. Amy, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Of course, you're in the middle of something. You're always busy plotting to ruin this or that. That's not true. When are you gonna let this Brody stuff go? I would love to be able to let all this stuff go, but I can't. Not right now, anyway. There he is. I need to go. Allie, you and Ellis ruined my birthday. I'm mad at both of you. I don't got enough diamonds to make it up to her. You're right, I'm so sorry. I don't have time for this right now. I will say that she's right and I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for this right now. Hopefully she will yell at me real quick so I can, you know, get to where I'm supposed to be. You're absolutely right, Aim. I've been the worst lately. You have. Look, I don't mean to make this all about me, but come on, my birthday was terrible. What can I do to make it up to you? I don't know, maybe telling me what's going on would help. Maybe I can help you. Being smart is kind of my thing. Maybe I've been going about this all wrong. Maybe I don't have to go through this all alone. So what's happening? Well, but what if she thinks I'm a monster? Brody and I have been messing with each other. I kind of started playing this game. Wait, you hooked up with Brody? Oh no, 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 not that. I just, I don't know. He took my old journal from me and I'm trying to get it back. Why would Brody take your journal? I don't know. 
but I want to get it back as soon as possible. That's why I was bugging out Tyler and Isaac. I need one of them to help me get it back. Well, I don't like what I'm hearing, but if they can put an end to this, you should go fix it. That's all I wanted to do. Then go do it. Thank you, AIM. See, she's understanding and she's smart. Ellis is stupid and she don't know what she's doing. And don't get caught. I won't, and I promise I'll make your birthday up to you. I love that girl, but she's kind of crazy. I mean, I've never really thought about joining cheerleading, but I think I'd like it more than football. You should join. We'd love to have someone on the squad with forearms like yours. That's not all I've got that's impressive. I can tell. Wow, cute. Isaac, can I talk to you? Kinda in the middle of something. And you can get right back to it once we're done, okay? Winter doesn't mind. <gasps> Her name's Summer, yikes. My name's Summer. That's funny, you look more like a winter to me. Oh, I said what Brody said. Why would you say that? Say what? She's fine, I need your help. I told you I wasn't gonna get pulled into your stuff again. I know, but okay, can you keep a secret? What kind of secret? I can trust Isaac, can I? Yeah, we can. Right? Okay, so let's say there was this super bad boy guy, but he had like a special diary where he kept all his secrets. Okay. But then, like someone found the diary and was using it to like, kinda, sorta blackmail him. I'd say they were stupid if this guy is as bad as they say he is. Well, let's also say that the bad boy got his hands on something important to the blackmailer. And she, er, he was trying to get it back before the bad boy did anything bad. I'd say he should get it back ASAP because the bad boy can't be trusted. So you help me? With what? I, I have to sneak into Brody's dad's house to get the thing back. That's why Brody's acting the way he is. I knew something was weird. What did he steal? Let's just say when Brody brings you home drunk from a party, he's gonna take something. What a dog. Okay, I'll help you, but we cannot get caught. Oh my God, Isaac, you're the best. You think I don't know that? Let's go now, I have free period. And you're gonna help me out with summer, okay? Why? You ruined my flow, girl. Gotta make amends. Okay, I'm Isaac's friend, I will do that. Fine. Aw, we're best friends. Jake Kaysen's mansion, the epitome of money and class. 16 bedrooms, two theaters, bowling alley, Olympic-sized swimming pool, and a small entrance on the side of the building used only by essential house staff, Brody's lady friends, and the occasional best friend who's sneaking in his blackmailer. This place is too much! Honestly, I hate coming here. I'd much rather be at his mom's house. Why? Just because it's so big and stuff? Because it doesn't feel like a home. Brody's dad is all about money and Brody's all about the ladies. Thanks, you know that. No one talks, no one has dinner together or laughs or watches TV together or wrestles or jokes or anything. It's nice, but it's like, what's the point, you know? Yeah, my house is kind of small, but we're in it together. Mine too, that's how I like it. Brody's bedroom is around here. So let's, let's what? Shit, we're in trouble. Why? Uh oh. If Jake Kaysen tells you to sell high, you better sell high. Uh oh. Brody's dad. Crap. Get out of here. I'll talk to him. Tell him I'm getting Brody's bio book or something. That's what I told his mom this morning. Cute. Let's talk about it when we're not about to get in trouble. Oh, you right. I ran through Brody's house, twisting through the halls and making my way to what I thought was the exit. Turns out, I'm outside. Where am I? Whoa, you wanna hand me a towel or what? Oh my goodness, I didn't see that tattoo before. End of episode, oh my goodness, this is wow. I just want my journal back. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video and you want part 10, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. I'm scared, I don't even know what's gonna happen now. We're in, we're literally in his house. But yeah, make sure to follow my Twitch because I will be streaming a different episode series there soon. And let's talk about this episode on Twitter. And just don't forget to follow my Instagram. It feels kind of left out, you know? Follow that too. So have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless your every step.